वेलकम गाइज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द एक्सिस ऑफ द ई सी जी सी माई एजेंडा इज नॉट टू एक्सप्लेन यू द एंटायर कॉन्सेप्ट वॉट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इज हाउ टू फाइंड आउट वेदर द एक्सिस इज नॉर्मल लेफ्ट एक्सिस और राइट एक्सिस दिस इज वॉट आई वॉन्ट यू टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस शॉर्ट वीडियो टू फाइंड आउट द एक्सिस वी आर गोइंग टू लुक एट द टू लीड्स वन इज द फर्स्ट लीड एंड सेकेंड इज द ए वी एफ लीड दीज आर द टू लीड्स वी आर गोइंग टू लुक सी द नॉर्मल एक्सेस इज फ्रॉम द माइनस थर्टी to all the way plus 90 in between if the axis is there that it is called as normal axis now how to find out that in the ecg uh, let's take a example now to understand that what what we are what i said is i am going to use only two leads the uh, the first standard and the avf lead the first standard and the avf lead you are going to look at the qrs complex now if the qrs complex looks like this the first one if the qrs complex looks like this the first one where you can see that the r wave is bigger than the s wave that is called as the positive qrs complex if the s wave is bigger than the r wave if the s wave is bigger than the r wave then it is called as negative because the negative wave is bigger if both are equivalent r and s they are equivalent this is called as equiphasic so if the r is bigger the positive wave is bigger so positive if the s wave is bigger it is called as negative so how to use this information see to use this information what we are going to do is we are going to look at the lead number 1 and the avf if the lead number 1 is showing a positive deflection means the r is bigger than the s wave and the avf is also showing a positive wave means that the r wave is bigger than the s wave if the image is like this then we are going to say it is normal so first and avf if both are positive we will say it is normal axis the second example is if the first lead is showing a positive deflection whereas the avf lead is showing a negative deflection you can appreciate in this that in the avf the s wave is bigger than the r wave so it is negative if it is like that then we are going to see it is left axis deviation left axis deviation e easy way to remember is if first and avf if the first and avf they are leaving one another l4 leaving l4 left if they are leaving one another if that is the left axis deviation yes first is going up avf is going down leaving one another l4 leaving l4 left axis deviation the next is if the first is having a negative deflection and the avf is having a positive deflection means going towards one another this is the right axis deviation right axis deviation so this is how we are going to find out left right or normal axis so this is the summary both are positive normal axis if both are leaving one another leaving one another left axis deviation both are going towards one another that is right axis deviation right let's see in this ecg and try to find out that whether it is a right axis left axis normal axis you can pause the video and you can find out see here what you can appreciate is this is the first wave in the first it is going to be a positive deflection so i am drawing here first is having positive first is having positive because the r wave is bigger when it comes to avf avf again you can see the r wave is bigger so both are going positive positive both are positive both are positive means it is a normal axis it is a normal axis let's see the next example here what you can appreciate is again we have to look at the two leads first first and avf what is happening is in the first you can appreciate that the s wave is bigger than the r wave so i can see the first is negative in the avf in the avf what you can appreciate is that the r wave is bigger it is like that so they are approaching towards one another this is right axis deviation so left axis right axis yes this is how you are going to find out yes thank you guys